Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Chief Meteorologist Justin Kiefer. Let's get you an update on Tropical Storm Gordon. We have brand new information in from the National Hurricane Center. Overhead, over the panhandle, a lot of light rain. Still a little bit breezy for some coastal communities. We've seen 15, 25, nearly 30 mile per hour winds over the last hour, mainly just at the beaches. And currently uh, the barometric pressure has been rising rapidly uh, here in downtown Panama City. So here's what we're, we've got right now. We've got cloudy skies. We've got rain falling over most of the panhandle, but there are some embedded heavier uh, showers and storms that we've seen pop up, especially for some of the inland locations. Uh, we'll continue to uh, watch and monitor the heavy surf that's rolling to the beaches. As you look at the Sharkey's Beachfront Restaurant camera, uh, one thing that's uh, helping us out here as far as the coastal overwash and how high the water's making it up the beaches, we're headed toward low tide right now. Low tide primarily this evening. So as the water goes out, even though the surf is rolling up, uh, the water levels are a little lower than it would normally be at high tide, obviously. Here's another look. This is from the Runaway Island Cam. The surf is extremely heavy. Uh, we've seen breakers as high as uh, 8 feet over at the second sandbar, and uh, those have rolled on toward the beaches as well. So it's been a rough day at the, uh, at the beaches. Here's another look from the Sea Haven Beach Cam. Things have quieted down. An hour or two ago, the surf was probably 4, if not 5 feet. And now it looks like it's down to about two or three. So that's good news. Here's a look at the very latest on Tropical Storm Gordon. Uh, the wind's now at 70. Now, hurricane reconnaissance and an investigation with uh, some of the radar estimations have uh, upped the sustained winds to 70 with gusts 285. Now, the movement remains to the northwest at 15. A lot of the rain's been moving northward as the storm moves northwestward. There's wind shear over the top of the storm, but the eventual track and the expected track from the hurricane center is on this northwestward motion toward Gulfport, Mississippi. Now it may become a hurricane in this time frame between now and 1 a.m. early tomorrow morning, but for the breakpoints of this forecast, it remains a tropical storm here and there, but somewhere in here, just off the coast of Mobile or off the coast of Gulfport, it could become a hurricane later tonight, just up to 75 mile per hour winds. Then it moves inland, begins to dissipate, and becomes a giant rainmaker as we go through the middle of the week and end of the week. This thing's going to slow down and, and create tremendous amounts of rainfall over the Mississippi River Valley. Hurricane warnings are still up, and they remain up from the Alabama-Florida line all the way over to the Louisiana-Mississippi line. So coastal Mississippi, coastal Alabama under the hurricane warning. So hurricane ex uh, conditions expected there. The tropical storm warning for the inland areas of coastal Okaloosa, Santa Rosa and Escambia County remain intact. Also the tropical storm warnings offshore. Uh, we've seen some very high wind gusts offshore as well as some high seas uh, with seas up to 14, 15 feet. And the high surf advisory remains up, though I just confirmed with some of our webcams that the surfs come down just a bit. So let's take a look at what we can expect in our future cast. Uh, the waves of rain, the spiraling bands will continue to rotate around uh, Gordon, and we'll see these through the evening and overnight. Now notice how they become a little bit more widely separated. Uh, so while they will still be with us, they'll be at times when we'll have breaks in the rain. Through Wednesday, though, I think we'll still see a moisture plume coming up and over the panhandle. So that means additional heavy rain. We've seen two to five inches for some today. An additional two to five inches is possible, especially in the western panhandle, where our future cast is pin point pinpointing nearly 11 inches toward Pensacola with an additional inch to two inches for most of the panhandle. But as you see, it's spotty in other areas because of the proximity to the storm and where the air is dry. We've seen some very unsettled weather conditions away from this stable rain shield that covers the panhandle right on the edge in a feeder band that's going on the north and northeastern side of Gordon. These are intense rain bands with some thunderstorms now in Calhoun County as of 4 p.m. Central Time. Some stronger weather here. We've seen some severe storms up in southwest Georgia and southeast Alabama and also to the south and east of Tallahassee. These are monstrous thunderstorms. One of those really outward lying outer bands of heavy rain rotating around Gordon. And we may have to deal with this across the panhandle later tonight. We're under a slight risk for severe weather for isolated tornado threat. And that shows up in our impacts from Gordon for the rest of this evening and overnight. Uh, the winds likely 20 to 30 near the coastline. Rain likely 2 to 5 inches everywhere, especially from I-10 southward. Storm surge issue is not that great. We've lowered that estimation mostly in the western panhandle. The isolated tornado threat remains up there. Uh, we could see these isolated cells producing tornadoes. It's not a widespread tornado outbreak, 
won't see a tornado watch, probably not, but we could see a warning or two pop up. So we've got possible severe storms, isolated tornadoes as our impact, as well as beach erosion and some possible coastal overwash. So Gordon intensifying right now, but still heading to the northwest toward Mississippi and will skirt the panhandle, which is a good thing, but we're still feeling the effects of it for the rest of this evening. Make sure to watch us here on News 13 live at 5 WMBB. Tune us in tonight at 5 o'clock for a complete recap of what we saw today out of Gordon and what we can expect as we go through the rest of your night. From the 13 First Alert Storm Center, I'm Chief Meteorologist Justin Kiefer. Thanks for watching.